Hey, I'm Maria, back with another video. Um, it is 12.41 in the afternoon. I had my lunch. Um, Piggy's out, I guess. He said he had to work today, or I don't know what he's really doing, but I don't So I have the house to myself. Um, so I went shopping early this morning, and I bought a few things. And um, I did indeed pick up those flowers that I said I was going to pick up. And it wasn't really much. I mean, I just figured, you know, no, my backyard looks really bad. I don't think it looks great by any means. It's just horrible because, I mean, there's a lot of weeds growing on the side and a lot of grass that needs to be cut. My son was in the process of doing it, and he left, so it needs to be picked up. But anyway, I just got a few flowers for underneath my window so I won't get so burnt out, you know. So they're right here, just some, like, little flower pots or whatever. Nothing great, but I need to have some color around me. <laughs> So anyway, I have four videos uploading from my phone, follow up to a reference is a reference part one, this little video series. So it's going to take a long time because my, my phone takes forever. Sometimes it goes really quick, but most of the time it goes really slow and I have no control over it, so I just have to deal with it. But anyway, um, so I was thinking today how um, the God complex and the, um, the improper uh, you know, abusive power or what people think they have. And this is probably another issue with a lot of other targeted individuals. And not, you know what, I've never liked people doing things for me, and the reason why is because when people do things for me, and this is most of the time, this is the case, they feel some sort of sense of entitlement, okay? So, like, for example, if Polly was the one who, who might have set me up for a job or something, she, she feels in the back of her mind, well, I did this for her and blah, 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 blah. I never asked her to. I never asked her to, okay? I never asked anybody for anything. The whole thing is, once you develop work experience, that's what you use to continue to build yourself up. I've never asked her for anything, okay? So it kind of irritates me that she would, um, she or my sister or whoever, um, would think that that's how the whole operation works. And even more annoying is that somebody in a human resource desk would think that that's okay. It's not okay, okay? From this point on, I don't want any more intrusion, okay? That's one of the reasons why I do not like to have people do things for me, okay, because this bullshit kind of stuff happens. I would have never asked her to do anything for me, and so um, she probably did this because she wanted me to take care of her son, okay, and as absurd as that sounds, um, it really doesn't coming from her, so <laughs> um, looking at this whole situation, you know what I mean, I mean, looking back, you know, I never realized it, but I never did, I mean, you know, everything I learned, I learned on my own. Um, and all the skills that I acquired, I, 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 I uh, learned on my own. So she can't, you know, sit here and think that she can dictate stuff. So she, she arranged a job for me or whatever. It doesn't matter. I work there, and it, it matters. And so, um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't like that. And so I think this is a, the, the issue with a lot of target individuals. Um, not saying it happens to all of them, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on when it comes to employment that people feel like they have this entitlement to, you know, bully bosses and all the stuff that's illegal, okay? That's why there's an administrative process that we follow um, when you're working in the office. You're supposed to anyway, and this is not supposed to happen. Um, you know, technically, you know, I had noticed on some of the ads, you know, that we're sitting here requesting things like, um, you know, GED or um, high school equivalent or some bullshit. That's not even necessary to write, you know, so you can, you can tell that somebody's baiting you. Um, the thing is, is that, you know, an employer can set the bar for um, higher level education how, however high they want to, okay? But a lot of employers know that that doesn't mean diddly squat. I've heard a lot of employers tell me, oh, this person, they just graduated from college and I thought they would do a good job. Experience really does matter because oftentimes it's some of these people, they just learn the theory of it and they don't actually know the working application of it. So. You know, it's up to the employer, but I did, I did feel, realize you know, during my job search that um, I was being baited. So, um, yeah, there's no reason for that, okay? So that bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And so then what actually ends up happening is, is that people, you know, take it upon themselves to play a game with your life, thinking that they can arrange all these jobs, and then guess what? They feel as though they could just yank it all away from you. This is improper, okay? That's why we have laws. It doesn't matter how I got there. People refer people to jobs all the time, like I said. You have no right to dictate that person's job because the person signing the application with the company, not you. 
So any anything that could have been signed or whatever, if it's got my name on it, it was it's a forgery. I'll tell you that right now. So because um, I never you know entered into any binding contracts with Polly, my sister, or anybody else. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's really important to say. Um, Today's not a bad day. I mean, I do feel like, you know, I can move on a little bit more. I can relax a little bit more, um, which is one of the reasons why I had enough energy to even go do that little project, to put plants outside. It's not much, but, you know, it's something. And like I said, you know, um, if I end up moving out, they like to take the little pots with me and, and whatever. But, you know, right now I'm in a state of limbo. I don't know if he's going, I'm going, whatever, you know what I mean? He seems pretty adamant about stick staying here, but I don't know, whatever. Um... So, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel, and, you know, last night, I'm, I got up early and made that video, um, because it, my brain starts to wind down, you know, it, but it feels less tight in my head, like, it's not, I'm not overly obsessed with this, like, trying to figure out what the hell's going on, like, what the heck's going on, um, you know, stay out of my shit, that, you know, that's all, I, that's the bare bottom line, because I don't want to be set up in situations where, People are telling me I can't use shortcut keys in Excel. I have to do it the long way. Um, this kind of petty shit, because what ends up happening is is that you're basically trying to um, not work to the standards of the employer, but you're trying to basically cater to these stupid emotional whims of people who really don't have any right to be there in the first place, okay? So, you know, which is stupid, okay? Because you, I'm not even going to go into the Excel thing because it's, a, it's that stupid. It really is that stupid. So you got these people who are, you know, competitors or whatever, and it, it, it's, non, it's nonsense. It, it's just nonsense, okay? Um, so that explains it, you know, this sense of entitlement. I don't like to ask people for things, okay? Um, I can assure anybody who was to ever refer me to a job that I would do a good job. You know, I always do a good job. Now, what, what the issue is, is that what happened over at Murray's place is I bet you either my sister or Polly or a combination of my po Polly, my sister, and Esther or whoever got in and started, like, fucking with people and talking and spreading rumors and then Facebook and shit. All, all this shit is going on, right? And then people are fucking treating me like shit for shit I don't even understand. So guess what? They're stealing my work, taking credit for my work, uh, bullying me, and basically, you know, like, for example, Steve Landry fucks the inventory up, and you see this man getting a job, and he's moving on, right? Nobody's fucking gang-stalking his ass, but they're doing that shit to me, okay? So, obviously, this is a serious injustice from the get-go. These people are manipulating my job, cooperating with employers, saying, hey, you know what, don't give her a reference for this one. I don't want her to be able to move to the next step. I control that. No, you do not. You do not control that, okay? You do not control that, okay? So you basically, you're